If you are a small YouTuber, if you pay somebody to do a service, if they don't have PayPal, find somebody who has PayPal. All you wanna do is just slay. What's up guys it's your girl all things essential i am back with another video unfortunately it is not a makeup video i know Ooh. okay whatever um but i did do some makeup this morning at four o'clock in the morning because that's what normal people do right um no right um without further ado i am going to tell you guys a story today so it is story time so I am gonna tell you guys how I got scammed out of a YouTube intro. So this is for, and I know you guys are probably looking at me like, okay, you have 184 subscribers. What could you possibly tell me? Listen, this can happen to anybody from one subscriber to a million. Like it, scammers don't have a number on it, period. So they just target small YouTubers because, you know, we're desperate to get ourselves out there. So I feel like I was desperate. Um, but that's because I was passionate about what I was doing. So anyway, um, I'm going to tell y'all how I got scammed. Okay. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out the rest of my videos on my profile if you think you like me or if you like me go ahead and subscribe make sure you leave a comment to this video make sure you like this video okay let's go okay boom at the I beginning of the year i wanted to take my makeup serious take my youtube channel serious um so i decided to you know get a ring light make sure i got to update the phone make sure i got a camera make sure i have a laptop make sure i have all my stuff and i'm like okay i got all my stuff but i want a youtube intro i want a banner da, 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 da. i found out how to do the banner i found out how to do everything on my youtube if you see the editing um how to put things in the video like you see this i taught myself that and i know you're like bitch it's easy but no it's not easy so um if people telling y'all that it's easy it's not easy youtube is not easy and it's not for the week so if you don't think you can learn anything from this video you're sadly mistaken boom run it back so at the beginning of the year i wanted to take my youtube serious so i told y'all i learned everything on my youtube i learned how to put the videos together i learned everything on my youtube but i could not get this intro down packed so i just was like at this point i'm going to pay somebody to do it i went on my instagram I put in, if y'all know somebody who know how to do intros, I'm a paying customer, let me know. A couple of people reached out to me, but this dude reached out to me and his prices was reasonable. And I was like, okay, I don't wanna send people money that I'm gonna miss if they steal my money. So this dude reached out to me, his name is Trio Visuals. I'm gonna put his Instagram here so you guys can go on his Instagram and just be aware that he's a scammer. Um, and he has a YouTube too. I think it's Trill Visuals. He blocked me on that. So anyway, um, if y'all feel compelled, y'all can tell him I still want my refund. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, he told me, you know, he had different types of intros and I was like, okay, that's fine. I want the $55 one where well, you put the, um, I think he had me send him a couple of pictures of me and then like what my background was going to be with fun and all that stuff. Like he had me send everything that a person who do intros tell you to send them. Fun, pictures, background, music, all that. I sent him all that. So he was like, I was like, how do you um, accept the payment? And he was like, I accept, I want full payment before I do um, anybody intro because the intros take a lot of time and I don't want, you know, to... He said, I don't want to I want to finish the product and then, you know what I'm saying, you go ghost or something and you don't want it or whatever the case may be. And then I don't get paid. I just waste time, which is understandable because I feel like everybody should be getting paid for what they're doing. Yes, everybody needs to get paid. So, and, and ain't nothing for free. So, anyway, I'm like, all right, cool. How do you accept your payments? He like, cash out. Big mistake. Big, big mistake. This is for all the small YouTubers. This is for all the small YouTubers. 
if somebody is, if you're paying somebody to do a service, if they are legit, they will have a PayPal because PayPal is going to get your money back. Cash App is not going to get your money back. Yes, I called Cash App. Yes, I reported him. He ended up blocking me, so I, it's nothing I could do. So I'm going to tell y'all, okay, so he said Cash App. So I sent him the money through Cash App. I'm going to insert my receipt here. My receipt. And it's grayed out because, like I said, he blocked me. So, um, he blocked me from Cash App. <laughs> he blocked me from Cash App. That's funny. I sent him the payment on Cash App. And then he was like, it would take 7 to 10 business days. And he was like, keep in mind that I do work a job. So, you know, um, it could take... A little longer but i will keep you posted i said cool i'm 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 chilling like i got a couple of videos in mind that i can go ahead and put together until you do this um, a couple of days go by i you know he watching my stories and you know i see him online and stuff like that and i'm, I'm just like okay maybe he just you know you know what i'm saying maybe he just you know want to see what i'm up to or something i don't know so he watching my story and shit so um i hit him up i'm like hey how's my intro coming along he ended up saying um i'm still working on it um but i i got you know the pictures i cropped the pictures already and i got your background straight and stuff like that so i'm like all right cool i'm happy yay so um i think another week went by another couple of days i would say like a week and a half it went by hey how's my intros coming how my intro coming along and then like he would take forever after that to respond i'm just like you know what i'm saying when you're doing some out of a service like you customer service is 101 like if i, I don't care if i ask for my intro or has it coming along a hundred times it's the principle you still need to respond i don't care if you say you know i'm gonna get back with you after i get off work i'm at work right now or i'm gonna get back with you once i um once i get home or whatever case may be you just don't respond so it was like sometimes i will um hit them up through the day i'm, like, I'm gonna give them a whole day to respond because i know how people get busy i'm very reasonable so it's not like oh my nails is matching my shirt okay off topic but anyway um yeah so it's not like i'm not reasonable i'm very reasonable when it comes to you know what i'm saying doing a business or doing something because i know how busy life can get I i'm i'm all over the place sometimes so um he ended up hitting me up like two days after i had sent him that message and he was like hey um i'm gonna send you what i got no his first excuse was um, that the actual editing tool that he used is having problems and is going through a maintenance issue and that it's delaying the intro so i was like okay um he was like yeah because other than that i would have it done already excuse me he said, other than that, I will have it done. So I'm like, okay. So he was like, I would think like probably tomorrow it'll be back up or whatever. So I'm like, hey, um, I hit him up like two days later. Hey, do you can you send me what you have? He was like, I don't have anything because like I said, the editing tool crashed and it has maintenance or whatever the case may be. And I'm I don't know anything about YouTube. I don't know anything about editing at this point. I'm still trying to, at this point, I'm still trying to figure out how to put my videos together that I recorded. So I don't know anything about, um, about editing or whatever he was waiting for. Hold on. Okay, so I think um, the little editing thing he made up, it was a lie because I just never heard of anything like that. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, that I'm I'm in the YouTube world now. I don't believe that was true. Like I just think he just was stalling me, so I wouldn't turn up on him. So I don't know what day it was when he blocked me or what it was in January or February, whatever. So I hit him up and I'm like, I hit him up. I'm like, hey. I've been asking you for my intro for about two weeks now. You have not um, been responsive um, in a timely manner. And what else did I say? I was like, I think that if you can't deliver it by Friday of this week, that you should send me my money back. And he was like, I agree. If, I, if the maintenance thing is not up by Friday, I will send you your money back. I said, cool, cool. So it came Friday, guys. It became Friday. And I was like, hey, do you have my intro? He didn't respond. The next day he didn't respond. The day after that, I said, I think it's 
I, I inboxed him after this. I'm like, I think it's effed up that you took my money, you didn't deliver or whatever, and now I'm mad or whatever the case may be. I'm like, I, I paid you my hard-earned money, and you took it upon yourself to not deliver. You didn't even give me a... I would have I been okay if he would have gave me half of my money back. Half, I would have been okay. Fifty-five dollars is a lot. I don't care what nobody say. It's not like I'm hurting for it, but it's still my hard-earned money, and that's why you have to be careful with people like that because people see. I don't even like being around friends who are money hungry. Like when when we go out, if you so tight on a dollar, like okay, I paid five dollars for your drink, you need to give me my five dollars back. Or if money move you, I mean money, you need money to survive. I understand that, but if money move you i can't be your friend because i'm not a money hungry person and i understand a, I, I i understand the value of a dollar so if you work hard for that money and somebody take it and you don't get what you post you you supposed to get out of that money or the money that you paid to to them that is scamming Th that is scamming so um I just said a lot right there. Sorry, guys, but I'm real passionate about talking about money and the value of a dollar because it's serious. I, my, I take money serious that I work hard for. If I'm sitting at a desk right now, if I'm sitting at my desk working, that is my hard-earned money, period. I don't care. So, and it don't matter how I got it, it's still my money. So, anyway boom he didn't respond and then i inboxed him and i told him you know i think that's fucked up that you um didn't deliver my um my intro and i was like you're not trying to give me my money back so yes i went on my instagram and i tagged him and i was like you know i had made this whole rant i tagged him on instagram and i was like um I think it's messed up. I paid this dude $55. He didn't even deliver. So if any YouTube, I tag every hashtag you can think about about YouTube. Every hashtag you can think about that YouTube is under, I tagged all of them because you don't know who he can scam next. Like, and then he had a nerd to say, um, oh, so you doing yours like that now? First of all, I was going to say... <laughs> He said, first of all, once he saw my um my videos of me posting on my story about him, he was like, um, first of all, I was about to send you your um intro today, by the end of the day or whatever, because I have it all done, but I'm not sending you anything. Goodbye, block deleted. Y'all, he block deleted me. He said he was gonna say that same day I released all my anger out for not receiving my stuff, he said he was going to send it to me by the end of the day. He was lying. He didn't have no damn intro, bro. Like he don't have no fucking intro. So um, I'm like, it's so it's so ironic that you were gonna send it to me on the day that I exploded. Like, are you serious? He ended up blocking me, and I think it was around my sister's birthday because I remember I had went out that night or whatever, and I got cute, and he must have unblocked me, or I don't know how he got back on my page, but I saw him in my views. And I was like, how did he even do that? But I'm still blocked on his page. Like, I couldn't get to his page, but he could he could come in. Well, maybe because my page is not private and it's public. I don't know how he, but he was like watching my every move after he blocked me and i thought it was so weird so you know what i did the next day when i got up i went under his youtube and i said you know pay me back my money he blocked me on youtube i said it on twitter if y'all ever run into this dude hashtag his name and everything because he blocked me so i hashtag his name if y'all run into this dude make sure y'all don't pay him because he's a scammer like period so um he blocked me on all social media y'all and i didn't get my money back i haven't heard from him i haven't heard from him since um he scammed me yes that's scamming because i did not get my money so i say this to say all small youtubers do not i'm asking you i don't care how much you know them i don't care what's going on i don't care how desperate you are do not pay through cash out do not pay through um demo do not pay through any of them quick easy transfer money um apps do not do not do not i'm i'm prom I i'm telling you don't 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 be like me and get scammed out of your money i'm not hurt like i said i'm not hurting for my 55 dollars but it's the principle they'll never get the principle so um what made me think of this story is because my friend on YouTube, she got scammed. There's a lot of people who follow the page on Facebook for you small YouTubers, and she was just letting the people know that don't get scammed by this person. So I was like, you know, I need to put that stuff, I need to put this information out there, don't get scammed by this dude. No telling who else in this small group would want to go um, 
get a youtube i'm um, get a youtube intro you never know this man literally came out of nowhere and i don't know why i even trusted him <laughs> I don't know guys don't even ask me like okay you didn't even know him he wasn't in the same city as you or anything so why did you even i don't know i do not know do not ask me um but yeah he he doesn't live in richmond virginia where i live at but he lives in austin texas and like i said he has a youtube channel i think it's trill visuals i think it's t-r-i-l-l -L, and then the visuals are spelled V-I-S-U-A-L-Z, something like that. I'm going to put it up here. I don't know how to spell his name. It doesn't even matter. But, um, yeah, go spam him on his Instagram. I'm going to put his Instagram up here. And then go spam him on YouTube if you find him. And let him know. I st run me my money. Bitch, run me my money. Go run me my money. Run me my money. Anyway, so yes, that's how I got scammed, y'all. I'm not mad about the $55, but I will like it back. Yes, it's been a couple of months since I got scammed, but yeah, I still want my money back. So um, I feel like that's the only way to squash this is to get my money back. And you can go your separate ways. You can keep me blocked. This man went so far to blocking me on Twitter, Cash App, and Instagram, and YouTube. If you didn't scam me, why did you have to block me on all of those social medias? I'm not delusional. I'm not lying. My story is straight. And the reason why I don't have messages is because he's he blocked me, y'all. Once you block somebody, your messages go away. So I don't have his messages no more. They, they're not in my inbox. He blocked me, so I don't have them. So, But had I had them, I would have definitely showed you guys our conversations our chain of conversations and everything i say the story time to say it's been 20 minutes <laughs> i'm gonna chop and screw this video but i said this if you are a small youtuber if you pay somebody to do a service if they don't have paypal find somebody who has paypal Unless they're around a corner from you or in the same city and you have a car that you could pull up on them and ask for your and demand your money back or file a claim. I don't know nothing about this man, so I can't file a police report. I can't file anything. I can't file anything. But I'm telling y'all this because I don't want this to happen to the next person. I don't want another person to get scammed. Scamming is bad. Um, I've never did it personally. I don't know what draw people to scamming. Um, maybe because it's a get rich quick scheme. I don't know. But it's it's worthless. You are scum of the earth if you scam. I don't care. You're stealing somebody money. Do you not understand that? Scum up. You're at the bottom of. You're at the bottom of my shoe. I have no respect for people who scam. I have no respect, and I would never have respect for people like that. So, um, yes. Take what y'all want to take from this video. I'm telling y'all, do not do it. Do not trust these people out here. They know how desperate we are to blow up on YouTube. They know how desperate we are that we just want to put our YouTube together. They know how desperate we are. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't take anything from this video, do not just give your money to a random person. I know like me and my my YouTube friend, we are trustworthy people. It, it says a lot about us. We are very trustworthy people. So for us to trust you with our money and you don't deliver, it's really beyond me. It's really beyond me. Like, and they pry, they prey on people like us. They prey on people like us. And I needed this to happen. So next time when I'm going to do business with somebody, if it's not on paper or through PayPal, no, you can't get no money from me. Now I'm not paying you in cash. It's either PayPal or it's a contract on the table. That's it. We I'm not doing that. And um. That's all I got for y'all today. I hope you guys take something from this video. I hope you guys go back to my profile and um, go back to my profile and watch some of my videos. Let me know if you like me. And if you do like me, go ahead and subscribe. Okay? Okay. And um, make sure y'all follow my social media handles. Like I said, this look will be posted on my social media. And um, yeah. I'm about to be out. I'm about to wash this off and go back to bed because I've been up since 4 o'clock. I'm sore. So, I'm out. 
Bye.